Hey, you guys. So today we're going to do the Southern Lime and Beans. This is the recipe Bible. You can get it from PrimaDonnaSeasoning.com. We're going to do the Grandma's Dry Lima Beans. That's actually right in my book. This is my favorite recipe. So these are the beans that I like to use. The Dixie and Lily brand. The Baby Lima Beans. I mean, you guys can use whichever kind of um, lima beans you prefer. Now, the first thing you want to do is get you a pan and you want to have you... Um, you want to throw in your your onions. You want to make sure that gets sauteed. Yeah, I built me. I know I'm kind of new to doing all of this. So you want to go ahead and you want to throw in your onions. And then you're going to throw in the whole bag. I don't know how many people you're cooking for, but I'm cooking for a family of five. So I'm going to use the whole bag today. I want to use the whole entire bag. So I sliced my onions and I threw in my lime, lima beans while I poured them in. And then you're going to drop in your two ham hocks. Make sure you throw your ham hocks in there. Now that you have your ham hocks, we're about to get ready to season this bad boy. So today we're going to use the Prima Donna seasoning. We're going to use the Soul seasoning today. This is one of my favorite seasonings because it's so versatile. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and just freehand it. I, like you guys, I'm not really good with measuring, so I'm sorry about that. So I can't really tell y'all how to measure, but just go ahead and, you know, use your hands work. Because I don't measure. I mean, you can refer to the recipe in the book, in the recipe Bible, and it has all your measurements. So go ahead and get in there really good. As you see, I'm adding a lot of that. Look at that. All those wonderful flavors that's going into this pot. Mm. Next, we're going to use the Prima Donna Adobo Seasoning. That went real fast. Well, damn. Okay. So that was a little oil, you guys. That's what you see in the pot right now. It's now on the stove. I just put a dab of... um baking oil in there just a dab and now we're going to stir these beans so we can make sure the seasoning is all in there and it's really good i want to make sure um we get that in there now your beans should have soaked overnight i'm sorry you guys i'm going all over the place but i should have said that prior when it first started but i will put more um information in the description if you get lost now i I recommend you guys use a tablespoon of butter because you don't want it too buttery and too oily because you already have the baking oil. However, me personally, I'm just going to be like, screw it. I'm about to throw the whole thing in there. <laughs> watch me, y'all. Watch this. <laughs> so, yeah, I threw the whole thing of butter in mine because I'm a pro. And like I said, I'm cooking for five people. I don't know how many people you're cooking for. And I'm using two ham hocks. And the recipe in the book um, tells you to use three. So, I'm just using two because that's how much meat I want in mine. Now, this is 45 minutes later, you guys. As you can see, the beans still aren't done. And your beans should be looking like this. Don't get discouraged. Don't get scared. Don't think you're doing something wrong because you're not. And now this has been cooking for an hour and 15 minutes. And we got a little progress. As you see, it's bubbling. As long as you're bubbling and you have it on a medium-low heat, you're fine. Do not cut it up on high and not too much medium if you don't know how to watch your stove. I could say you can do it on low heat and cook them for around two to three hours. All right, so now this is an hour and 45 minutes. And look, we got some action, you guys. Those things. You can see the gravy is coming in. Damn, I be doing my thing, y'all. <laughs> you see, the gravy is coming in, and I really like it because it's really thick, and you want that gravy over your beans, and all the flavors should be in there. So this is after an hour and 45 minutes, and it's still bubbling, and I'm cooking mine on medium, medium low, you guys. And like I said, if you are scared, just put yours on low. Cook yours on low. And voila, this is the quickest, simplest, easiest recipe I think I gave you guys. The only two seasons you need is the soul seasoning and the adobo, and you're finished. So now we're done. However, I'm going to add a little bit of more water to mine because I don't like um, exactly how, th how thick it was looking. So if you can see now how the texture has changed, I've already added the water. I just added like a half a cup of water. Um, like I said, I will try to add as much details in the description as possible. I'm not really too good with these voiceovers, you guys. Bear with me. And I don't want to hear y'all talking shit about my, what is that, uh, fire thing. Now, oh, look at these beans, y'all. Look at these beans. This is what I'm talking about. Look at these damn beans. 
Again, you guys, this recipe was very simple. I got it from out of my Prima Donna's The Recipe Bible. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys how to do it, give you a visual. But you can follow along with the book and you guys will be good and set. So enjoy, you guys, and head over to PrimaDonnaSeasoning.com so you can get this book and you can keep up with this Grandma's Dry Lima Beans. Y'all have a blessed one. See you later.